Hi there, my name is Brad. I'm a pharmacy student here. What's your name? I'm Shelly Peterson. Shelly Peterson. Okay, I, I see I have your chart in front of me. Can you just confirm that, uh, what's your birth date, Shelly? December 30th, 1982. December, sorry? 30th, 1982. 1982. Now, I'm just sensing something's bothering you right now. Is something on your mind? Uh, well, my doctor, uh, I start chemotherapy next week, oh, okay. and my doctor told me that uh, you would talk to me about some medications that would help me cope with the nausea. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, is this your first chemotherapy, or have you had it before? No, oh, so this will be the first time. Okay. So, I'd like to do that. Is there anything else you'd like to discuss today? Anything else on your mind? There's lots on my yeah, mind. Yeah, I understand yeah. that. Yeah. Well, we definitely can talk about some other things, too, if they come up, so don't be, don't be afraid to... Let me know, okay? okay? So it's probably going to take about 10 minutes to go over everything, okay? okay. Um, just before I get into talking about mm -hmm. that actual medications for the nausea, mm -hmm. um, can you a answer a few questions just about background information, just to make sure I got all your profile right, okay? Mm -hmm. Do you have any allergies? No. no. Do you have any medications? I see there's some here, so I'm just going to mention them. Have you taken any of these before, the Ondansetron? So these are the new ones for the chemo, so... You're not familiar I, with I, that, I, then, I okay? Yeah. Uh, and dexamethasone, metacopramide, you're not familiar taking any of these yet, okay? Um, so do you take any medications right now? Um, I take cetirizine when I need it. Cetirizine. And do you know how many milligrams? Ten milligrams. Ten. And is that for allergies? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What kind allergic of allergic rhinitis? Okay. Yeah. Seasonal. Seasonal. Is that not bugging you right now? No. Good. What about medical conditions? No. No none. previous medical conditions? Just, just the allergic rhinitis. Okay. And you, you just recently had this diagnosis, hey? Yeah. I can see that it's bothering you. Um, um, do you have a, a network that you can kind of help out? Like family, friends that you can I've talk to? I've got my husband. Okay. Well, just know you can always come to us, too, if you ever feel the need to, to talk a little bit about things. Uh, you have a husband. Is he around all the time? Or is he working quite a bit? Or? Well, he works during the day and I'm on medical leave so okay where, where do you where did you work I'm an elementary school teacher oh, okay that must be very hard for your students not seeing you around too hey I get I never really thought of that yeah it's tough I mean this you're, you're taking in a lot of information right so it's going to take a while to grasp this and don't be afraid to just let it out or let me know what I can do to kind of help you okay nice. all right would it be better if I just go ahead and talk a little bit about some of these medications? It's just or? I'm really worried about my kids. Okay. What what kind of concerns do you have with your kids? It's okay. Let it out. I can get a tissue here for you if you like. I need to be able to be there for them. Yeah. I, I totally understand. Um, it's tough. Uh, we have kids and, and they need a mom, right? understand that. Don't be afraid to let it out. It's okay to cry. All right. But I need to know what I need to do so I can be there yeah. for them. And I think that's a great approach. The only way we're going to know what to do is if we concentrate on the, the here and now, get through this, get through our chemos, and see what the prognosis is down the road. Right? Has your doctor talked to you about that at all? Not really. Okay. Probably because this is brand new, right? We yeah. don't really know what's going on yet. Now, there's a lot of good medications out there that we can keep our hope up, right? Okay. So let's let's keep it here and now and, and move forward. Does that sound fair? But don't be afraid to let out. You can cry on my shoulder if you yeah. need to, okay? I'm here yeah. for it. And uh, next time, if you want to bring family members in to talk about stuff, we can always do that too, okay? Okay. All right. Is it okay if I move on? Mm -hmm. Okay. So... There is some medications here, and the doctor's a little bit worried about nausea with these medications because you're on some pretty heavy chemotherapy drugs. Okay. And um, so they target the cancer, but they have the nasty side effect of making it really nauseous. So I noticed that they didn't prescribe one of medication that I'd also like to see you on. Okay. okay. So you're on a dexamethasone, 8 milligrams, which is good, and the odansetron, 8 milligrams, which is good. I'd like to get you on another medication just to help you get through it, okay? Okay. It's called ep epitripitant. Um, 
weird names for all these medications. Sorry if it, but we'll make sure you have a list and, and everything to go by to, to make sure you know what you're doing. And this medication is it's just a three dose for three days. So you, you take 125 milligrams in one day and then 80 milligrams and then 80 milligrams. So day one of your chemo, you're going to take three drugs. The, the dexamethasone, the epitriptant, and the odansetron. Then two days after, you're just taking the epitriptant, okay? okay. Can, I know that's hard to... Would it be better it if I wrote it down for you? Yeah. Okay. I'll make sure you don't leave without instructions, okay? okay. Yeah. Um, I'd like to talk a little bit about any symptoms that you're having right now. Are you having anything other than... No, I just... Um, I had a lumpectomy a, a month ago. Mm -hmm. um, and so there's... I don't know, it's healing well. Okay. It feels a little tight, but it's feeling well. Good. It's which, healing. which, sorry, which breast? Rest, uh, rest, right one. The right one. Okay, and you said it's healing well, so you're not noticing any redness or any oozing, anything like that, no pain? Okay. No. Any pain in your chest or, or belly or anything like no. that? No. No. Okay. And any other symptoms that you can think of off the top of your head? No. So you're feeling good other than having to go in for this chemo to clear up. Yeah. So did they kind of explain that to you? About oh, the chemo? Why you have to go on chemo? Yeah, okay. yeah. What did they say? And then radiation. Mm -hmm. What did they yeah. say why, or did they tell you why? They're not sure they got it all, so. Okay, yeah, usually they, there could be some cells that they're not sure of, right? So if they were able to take some out, that's great. And they'll just do a few treatments, hopefully catch everything and get you fixed up, right? Okay. It's a lot of medications for nausea. It is. How sick do you expect me to be? This medication that you're going on is known to, to cause a really, in a high percentage of patients, they'll develop this nausea. You don't want to feel nauseous, right? Chemo is going to be bad enough just going through that treatment. So it's not going to be any fun if you're throwing up. So what, what kind of the evidence shows is that we, we put patients on three medications, they do better. Okay, so you're not going to be throwing up. And then you'll be able to look after your kids a little bit, right? I you can't so. be at home and throwing up and, and your kids, it'd be hard, right? So I think yeah. this, this might help you out a little better if we make sure you're on all three. Okay. Is there any questions that you have for me at this point? I don't think so. I mean... When is your chemotherapy? Next week. What day? I think they said Tuesday. Tuesday. And do you know what time to go in and where to go yeah, and everything? Yeah. Nine. 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 That's yeah. all set up? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I think what we're going to have to do, if you're okay with this, this medication regime that we're setting up, is we'll try it out. We'll try the three medications. Yeah. And after you finish your chemotherapy, I'd like to talk to you again to see how things went, okay? What if it doesn't work? If it doesn't work, then we'll have to potentially change some things up and, and try something that does work. Okay. okay, there's always other avenues that we can try, okay? And uh, maybe I can't give you the answer right away, but I can talk to your doctor and, and everyone else to, to come up with a good plan for you, okay? That's, that you're comfortable with. So we want to make sure so that I, you're I feeling... I remember my grandma was really, really sick. Yeah, same kind of... Condition? Yeah. She didn't, she didn't, eh? Well, did they did they have to do a lumpectomy as well for her? Or what kind of... Did she, it was pretty much the same. Pretty much the same. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, how long ago was that? Um, I was a teenager, so... Yeah. Like, a few years back? Yeah, about 15 years ago. Okay. Just to let you know, they've made a lot of advances. So, I know it's sad. And it's okay to cry. And you, just, you expect to cry, right? This is tough news. So just know that we can have our hope and keep going day by day, okay? And remember, I'm here for you, all right? Any questions, don't hesitate to come back and ask, okay? Do you want a hug? <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Thank you, though. <laughs> all right. So... We'll try okay. this out, and I want to talk to you after your chemotherapy to make sure that everything will work okay. out okay. All right? Okay. Very nice meeting you. Nice to meet you, And don't too. be afraid Thank to you. bring family in or anything, okay? Best of luck. Okay. Thank All right. You.
Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> okay. Uh.